explosive form the explosive forming process is coming under high velocity forming processes and it is defined as the shaping metal parts in dyes by using an explosive charge to generate forming pressure the explosive used can be of tnt or rdx or dynamic then gaseous mixtures and propellants there are two types of processes in explosive forming one is standoff technique or unconfined type and second one is the contact technique or confined type in standoff explosive forming the explosive charge is placed at a distance from the surface of the workpiece and this distance is known as the standoff distance or sod the workpiece is placed over a die and bottom portion of this die otherwise the die chamber is uh, created with a vacuum by a vacuum pump and the vacuum is created for making the or forming the workpiece close to the die chamber uh, and avoiding the uh, air any case of air entrapping between the workpiece and the die cavity it also uh, prevents the adiabatic heating of the workpiece and to avoid the melting, uh, the possible uh, melting of the workpiece by this adiabatic heat. Then the tank is filled with water to a certain level in order to distribute a uniform pressure around uh, the cavity. When the detonation of the charge occurs, a pressure pulse and a gas bubble is formed on this water and this bubble uh, keeps on expanding and by this the metal uh, the workpiece is uh, deformed into the shape of the cavity and at the same time because of this expanding bubble a dome is formed on the surface of the water and this dome uh, will break as it is expanding the dome will break and the gas bubble uh, wind uh, through the surface of the water all these uh, processes are happening within a fraction of a second that's why it is known as it is coming under high velocity forming processes in contact explosive forming the charge is placed very close to the uh, workpiece and also this is happening in a closed chamber uh, and uh, this in this case also vacuum is created uh, between the workpiece and the chamber uh, the, uh, otherwise the space between the chamber and the workpiece and by the uh, waves produced the pressure waves produced by the detonation the workpiece is uh, deformed into the shape of the uh, die cavity this process is mainly used to do uh, small and uh, tubular parts for flaring and uh, bulging operations and also being a closed system this is a, a greater hazard of die failure due to high pressure generated so the selection of the charge is uh, very key to these processes thanks for watching